South Australia is a large state, but most of its incredible geology is hidden in the ground beneath thick layer of sediments or what we call cover. One way to find out what's beneath is to drill. However, that is extremely slow, cost intensive and not possible everywhere in the state. That's why we use modern technology and geophysical imaging to see through the earth without disturbing it. Just like we use telescopes to catch the light of distant stars, geophysicists are using downward-looking telescopes to image and zoom into the Earth. It reveals an ancient world which has left behind footprints of past geological events, such as volcanoes, mountains, oceans and life forms. It also helps us detect footprints of mineralization or deposits beneath our feet. Our instruments measure a surprisingly large variety of different data about our Earth. For example, how magnetic the rocks beneath us are, how well they react to electromagnetic energy, or even how fast seismic waves from distant earthquakes travel through the Earth. To get this data, we install our geophysical instruments in the air, on land, and even in the sea. And when combined, they act like one large downward-looking telescope. With some mathematics and supercomputers, we turn this data into maps and 3D models of the Earth that tell us about the physical properties of the Earth and what's underneath us. At the Geological Survey, we always have several projects on the go, and we've just finished a number of large geophysical programs, including the Gawler Craton Airborne Survey and the Auslamp MT Survey across the entire state, which took five years to complete. The Auslamp MT Survey collected magnetotelluric data an electromagnetic geophysical method across a 50 kilometre spaced array at over 400 stations. We were able to identify past movements of magmas and fluids through the Earth's crust and show their relation to current mineral deposits such as Olympic Dam, one of the largest mineral deposits in the world. Over the next few years we are embarking on a new program measuring distant earthquakes to help us image the crust right on our doorstep. And that has great potential to show us areas where we might find significant mineral deposits. With these new projects, we are continuing to build on the already existing wealth of freely available geoscientific data. That geoscience data allows us to inform the public, reduce risk to the exploration industry, and ensures the growth and well-being of the state of South Australia.